Welcome to Desk Geek. I thought I would do a follow-up video since this is our first week into 30 days of Linux and let you know how things are going. But most importantly, I want to show off this pimp shirt here. Got Linux. My wife got me this awesome, awesome shirt that I will proudly wear everywhere. So very cool. I really appreciate that gift and definitely recommend you get one for yourself. It will drive the ladies crazy. I promise you. They'll be like, wow, that guy's smart. He uses Linux. Probably won't happen that way. But anyways, so I've got my Linux pimp gear out here. got my Linux swag. And I've been using Linux for a week. And I can tell you there is really nothing that I have really missed. Uh, everything that I've needed to do on my computer in this first week, I've been able to do with Linux. And we have lots more videos to come as we get into different software issues and things. The only problem I really had was in installing Linux with the GTX 1070, there was an issue where my mouse would lock at the top of the screen. Like I could move it like this at the very top, but it would not go up or down and I could not select anything. And that was pretty annoying, but I quickly figured it could be either a mouse issue so I tried a different mouse but had the same problem and then figured, well, it could be a video card problem because of the dual monitors and everything else and the 1070 being a fairly new video card. So I quickly went into the drivers section of Linux and switched it to NVIDIA proprietary drivers and didn't have that issue at all. I didn't have that issue at all on my laptop, which is a Dell XPS 12-inch convertible uh, because it uses an Intel uh, graphics card, so it had no issues at all. So that's the only real show stopping issue I had during installation. Um, as far as things that I miss about windows, there are real, there really is only one program that I honestly miss in windows and that's one note. So LibreOffice does a really good job with their word processor. It's good enough for, you know, my daily taking notes, writing a quick document for the show, whatever I need to do there. Um, Excel is certainly superior to the spreadsheet version that LibreOffice has because I understand those macros, but I can do all of that in through Office Online, but not having a quick OneNote to just click on down here and type some things in or edit uh, video ideas and things that I have directly on the PC is the only thing that I've found so far I actually miss. Now, sure, I could take my phone out and do it there, but I really wish there was some OneNote integration that I could figure out because I love OneNote, and I haven't found a good replacement for that yet. So if you know one, leave it down in the comments below because I would happily switch to another product if it's as, as good as OneNote. But in my research, most people say there's really nothing out there that's as good as OneNote uh, anymore. So... Uh, IRC chat, gaming, uh, video editing, all of that has gone through flawlessly. Everything has installed perfectly. I have my password managers, which are a big deal uh, to me. I have my VPN set up. So everything uh, as far as connecting my printer worked immediately. The Epson 545 wireless, no issues there, just clicked on printers and selected my Epson one, it saw it on the network and boom, it was done. So everything has really gone flawlessly. I use GIMP and Audacity already on a Windows machine, so those were perfectly familiar with me. Uh, video editing is through Kden Live, and I like Kden Live a lot. Um, there are some features that I find Adobe Premiere may be a little bit more refined in, but for the most part, I can do everything I do in Adobe Premiere inside of uh, Kden Live, so I've had no issues there. So my first week has gone swimmingly. All my audio equipment from my USB DAC that's hooked up to my computer, the Scarlett 2i2, the DBX286S, my Klipsch speakers, my AT2020, all the stuff worked right out of the box. Had to do nothing except select it from the sound source, whichever one I was using. So all of that's been perfect. I used OBS to make my videos already, so I was familiar with that. So as far as missing Windows, um, sorry Windows, I don't miss you at all. I love using the terminal, um, getting faster with it every single day and being able to do more advanced commands and um, 
really able to manipulate the system and the settings the way that I want. I did try a different distribution, Kubuntu, which is a KDE Plasma version of Ubuntu uh, that I installed on my laptop, and I love that. The customization, the tweaks you can make are incredible. So I'll probably be installing that on this machine too so that I can show you guys uh, why I love that so much. So really, that's, that's it. Uh, I've had only a couple of small issues. The only thing I miss is OneNote, and hopefully uh, the community can help me find a replacement for that. But uh, if not, then I'll have to figure out something on my own, and uh, I'm sure there's something I can come up with to replace uh, OneNote. So... In any case, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. We've had a really great uh, growth in our subscribership this week. Uh, the Linux series has been really popular, which I wasn't sure how popular it would be, but I think more and more people are looking to make that Linux switch, and I've had a lot of you reach out on social media and Twitter and tell me thank you for the videos, and it looks like some of you guys are already converting and going along with this trial with me. So. That makes me feel fantastic. The more people I can get on Linux, the better. So in any case, leave your comments below. Thank you for all the love and support. And I will talk to you guys next week as we go into our second week and do some more videos on some different programs that I've learned, some different tweaks that you can make, and maybe even get into distributions next week. Who knows? We'll see. Until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Don't watch the video.